If you'll listen to me for just a few moments. Hey guys, it's Slink here. How you doing? I'm back with another tutorial slash giveaway. I've made this little synthesizer here using um, samples I took from my talk box. Um, and it sounds kind of like this. And there's uh, different sounds you can choose. And you can also add an octave. And attack, release, spread, etc, etc. So let me show you really quick how this works. Um, basically, there's a sublayer, which is just an operator playing two triangle waves. One triangle wave is an octave higher and a little bit lower in volume. And then we've got a saturator and um, a low cut at 120 hertz. And uh, basically, it's just a sub, a normal sub. Um, and then here, we've got two chains inside of this. Um, they're both exactly the same, except this chain has a pitch uh, MIDI effect, which is uh, one octave higher. So uh, when we turn this volume up, um, the chain volume of that just turns up. It's really simple. Um, but in here is where the guts of it all happens. So as I said, I took a bunch of samples of my talk box and basically I just recorded me saying like ah or ba, bow, do, la, etc, etc um, in two different octaves. So I did a bunch in um, C3 and then a, a bunch in C2. And the way I've laid this out is so if I press C2, then you're getting these samples down here. But if I, if you press the C3, you're getting these samples up there. And then anything in between is sort of like a fade between the two samples. So it's pretty simple. And then on the selection tab, um, I've mapped this knob here to the chain selector and then just distributed the ranges equally so that you can easily choose um, some different sounds. That one's my favorite. Do, do, do. Cool. So I want to share this with you guys. And um, I've already saved this as a new project. Um, but what I could do is just go into my files and, you know, collect all and save and, and zip it up. But there's actually a much cleaner way to do this. So if I go to the file manager and then hit manage project, I can hit create pack and then we can just save this uh, on the desktop like that. And you can see it's adding the samples into the into the pack. And now we just have one file on our desktop and this will be the file that I send you guys. So once you get that file, how do you use it? Well, let's just create a new live set and all you'll do is just drag it in to Ableton and then it'll ask you where you want to save it just save it anywhere it doesn't really matter we'll just stick it on the desktop and it's copying the samples and you can see the project has been uh, saved here so we can just open that up and then just double click on the ALS file which is the project file and it's going to open that up here in Ableton so to make it easier to use this um, whenever you want you can just drag this straight into the... Actually, I already have one there. Let me just delete that really quick. You can just drag this into the user library and then hit enter. And it's going to copy the samples into your user library. Just like that. And now we can just go new live set. And we can straight up delete this project. And anytime we want to get some Rugrats action going, <laughs> You can just drag that in. So that's it. Uh, let me show you uh, a quick example of what I was working on here using this um, little synth that I created. I'm working on a track with Elvis Freshly, and I thought it'd be fun to do like a really dorky Rugrats solo. <laughs> so let's have a listen. <laughs> so you can see I've just automated the chain, uh, the sample selector to uh, choose different sounds. For example, this is the 
the doo 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 sound, and this is the the ba 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 sound. So yeah, that's it. Um, I'll uh, leave a link in the description on where you can download this little guy. And otherwise, have a kick-ass weekend. Peace.